Hey guys. <clears throat> this is going to be another, I guess, Q&A session because I've been getting a lot of questions um, through email and um, some stuff like that. And honestly, I just don't feel like typing. So that's why I'm doing it, doing this. Um, these are in no particular order. You know, I was just going through trying to remember everything. Um, first question is, why don't you homestead? Well, if I had the uh, land, I would be homesteading, but I don't have I don't have the funds right now to buy the land. You know, I found land pretty reasonable, but we're saving back, and um, that's on my list to do. You know, to start homesteading. Um, let's see. Are you going to do any hands-on videos? I've got some lined out, you know, um, I'm going to do some, um, you know, some, just a, a bunch of different videos, you know, I've got lined out that I want to, um, to do and to show people, you know, but yes, I do have some coming. Um, why do I have a P.O. box? And well, in this one, it is the same question. Why don't you have a Patreon or a GoFundMe? Um, I've said it before, the, um, the P.O. Box is a lot easier for me. You know, I like getting, I like reading handwritten, you know, letters from people, uh, getting cards. And, you know, if people wants to help, you know, donate to the channel, you know, they can send a money order or, or something like that write a check yeah I don't know how all that stuff works um, those patreon and GoFundMe things they um, you know you have to do a lot on the computer and this link and that link and I hate working on doing crap like that on a computer I am NOT a computer guy um, call me a retard call me stupid call me a caveman whatever I am NOT computer inclined I'm, I'm, I'm not I you know I can build houses I can build decks I can fall a tree in between two cars but when it comes to computers I just I guess I'm not interested in it that's why I suck at it so um, why do you like using use military surplus over new gear Military surplus is a lot cheaper and it's a lot better than this new fancy crap that you're paying triple and quadruple prices for just to keep up with the Joneses. You know, um, I've seen a cup and a canteen going for $60 from a YouTube channel because he designed it. There's no way in friggin hell I would pay $60 for a friggin canteen and cup I don't care what kind of titanium or stainless steel it was made out of just cause it's got his logo on it 60 bucks Pfft, not this white boy hell no um, military surplus it's been proven it, it's been used in the field in all kinds of conditions you know rain snow freezing hot everything and it stood up to the test of time military surplus it's it's some of its you know cost affected in price people can afford it more than they can afford going to these these sites and these stores and paying a ridiculous price for this name brand top stuff that's not me you know, I got better things to do with my money than pay 60 damn dollars for a canteen and cup. No, no, not me. So that's why I like military surplus. It's, it's proven by the test of time, you know. It, it's been used by military forces out in the fields, you know, in combat, in, in everything, you know, harsh environment. So if it can take, if it can stand up to combat, it can stand up to all, anything. 
Another question, why do I smoke? I like to smoke. Why do you, why do you guys go out and pay $8 for a small cup of Starbucks coffee? Because you like to taste. I like to smoke. So, it's a preference, you know. I don't tell you guys not to drink your fine, fancy, gourmet coffee, you know. You know, I don't tell you guys to quit drinking your coffee. It's bad for your kidneys or any crap like that, what they're going to come up with. So, you know, that I like to smoke. And I will continue smoking until I decide to stop. Um, damn. Why? I have a list here. I mean, front and back. Um... And, uh, why do I call certain type of people Rambos? I call the idiot retards Rambos who think they're going to go out with all this expensive gear and their high dollar assault rifles and go out and think it's going to be gravy in a shit hit the fan situation. I call them Rambos because they're... they're <laughs> If you ever watch Rambo, you know, he can take out a hundred guys with a one belt of M60, you know, blah, 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 and just keep on, and that belt never runs out. Uh, that's what they, they believe they think they can do, and they're going to get a big surprise. So I call the retards Rambos and the Trolls. Um, are you going to do more trapping videos showing the setups? Yes, I am. Um, right now, I cannot do it because it's not trapping season, and I don't have my trapping license expired. Um, here in the state of Tennessee, you pay $24 for your trapping license, and um, you have to put your name and number on your traps and we've got a lot of public land that we can trap off of and if you have um, if you know a landowner and they give you permission they just got to write you a statement and you got to carry that with you at all times in case a game warden comes up and asks you you show them proof just like deer hunting or something like that you know you got to have proof that you have permission to be on the land but yes, I, I, I'm, I have plans. I've ordered some new snares because my snares are just, uh, they're like two years old and um, they were in rough shape. So um, I got new snares coming. I'm going to be ordering some more traps. And um, I'll be, when, when uh, trapping season starts, I'm going to be doing some, um, you know, hands-on video on that. Uh, let's see, where am I? Why are you always talking about ways of getting food? That should be a no-brainer. Food is top of the list along with water and shelter and fire. You know, you can just carry so much food, then that food's going to run out. Or you can prep so much food, and that food's going to run out. Or you're going to, something's going to happen where you have to leave that food or anything. And with you, with a person knowing how to get food by hunting, trapping, fishing, you know, um, stuff like that, that's a no-brainer. That, that, that's, a, that's a survival skill you want to know. That's one of the top ones you should learn first besides how to get water and how to you know clean your water uh, then then shelter and fire so i mean that's a no-brainer uh why now this one kind of made me laugh why don't you trust the government <laughs> i don't have time enough on this video to name every reason why not to trust the government only thing I can say, they're a bunch of liars, backstabber, thieves, that I wouldn't trust them for anything in the world, from the top man down to the lowest. I wouldn't trust them as far as I can throw them, because they're always going back on their word, they're always screwing over 
American citizens. And so, uh, <laughs> like I said, that one made me laugh. And I do not have time long enough. It would be a, probably a three or four hour video on why I don't trust our government. They suck. Plain and simple. In my opinion, the government should be disinvolved, disemboweled, or whatever the hell, kicked out of office, and normal, hard-working people, not these college-educated people, I mean normal, hard-working people who gets out here and busts their guts out, should be the one elected and not paid. Our forefathers wasn't paid to be the president and Congress and stuff like that. So they should not receive a check to go out and get this country straightened out. Get rid of the crap, we'll get our country straightened out. But, okay, enough. I'm done. Why don't you sell gear on your channel? You know, I sell at the flea market, and people's ask me. Because, I, honestly, I would feel like I was cheating people because I get it at a good price, and then to make a profit, I'd have to raise it then charge shipping and handling and you know if anybody ever wants to know where I get my stuff all they got to do is ask me hell I'll tell you you know because I don't want to cheat people you know especially my sub friends and I would feel like I was cheating them you know if I buy something for a dollar the time it got to you guys it'd probably cost you seven eight dollars with shipping and handling costs and stuff like that so that's why I don't sell because I feel like I'll be cheating you guys, and hell, I don't want to cheat you guys. Um, do you teach classes to others? I have taught some, you know, some classes. Um, here lately, I, I haven't been teaching because I've been too busy, you know, but sometimes I do, and it just, it, 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 ranges from multiple areas so um why do you cut trees and sell firewood for a living i like being my own boss i like being out in the weather the heat the cold the snow the rain you know i like at the end of the day coming in feeling wore out that means i've done something and you know if I work for somebody, I'd have to listen to the customers. Here, me being my own boss, I tell them, if you don't like the price, go somewhere else. I don't need you. Goodbye. See ya. This ain't Walmart's. The customers, in my eyes, are never right. So, I enjoy being my own boss. If I get tired, I come home. If I want to go fishing or go hunting instead of going to do something... I can. I don't have to answer to nobody. Um, are you going to do camping videos? I was thinking about doing some, you know, shelter building, you know, overnight camping, me and the boys. Uh, so that has crossed my mind about, you know, doing that. Um, will you be doing some fishing video using set lines and trout lines? Yes soon as um it gets a little bit warmer so i can get out in the water and you know wade and show you guys um yes i will be doing some uh fishing videos and stuff like that um i think i skipped one. oh yeah um why don't you do some canoe videos um i would love to i don't have a canoe so, and that would go good, if I had a canoe, that would go good into my trapping videos, you know, showing how and where to set up um, traps. A buddy of mine has a canoe and he's thinking about selling, so I might be buying that. So, but the reason I don't do canoe videos, um, I don't have a canoe. So, and the last one I do believe is, how is Aries doing, my son? Aries is doing fine. He, he went to the doctor today. They were going to do a, um, a surgery to cut out a tooth for the abscess. It, it just, infection got all through here. And um, 
the antibiotics they got him on has taken it down. So they're going to give it a couple of days instead of yanking the tooth. It's a good tooth, so they don't want to yank it. But they're going to um, um, give it a few days to see if this uh, medicine helps him and gets it down more. And if it does, they're not going to. But if they if it if it's not working fast enough, they said they're going to go in and pop it. So he, you know, pop the tooth out and let it drain. So he went over there today, and we thought he, he was going to have surgery, but um, he got lucky. He didn't have to. And he he's up running, playing. I want him to say thank you to you guys, but he's kind of bashful and shy. But. Um, you know, I'll get him on a video so you guys can, he can tell you guys thank you. But, guys, I think that's it. So, if you got any other questions, you know, email me. My P.O. box is on my about, on my homepage underneath uh, about. So, um, you can, you know, write me a letter. You can send me a card. You, If you want to, if you guys want to help sponsor the channel, help out, you know, so I can do some more stuff. That's cool. I'd appreciate it. But if not, hell, I would like to just hear from you guys through an email or a letter. But anyway, guys, I'll be back with another one. I've got another video in mind that I'm going to work on later on today and try to get it up tonight or in the morning. But until then, everybody be safe, keep preparing, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, guys.